Um, today is a Resurrection Lord's Day for 2024, and today's message, uh, I was very blessed by today's message, and I pray that grace will be upon us as an individual, upon our church, and upon our nation. From last Monday to Friday, uh, we had a special Passion Week service for 2024. Uh, we truly experienced much grace, and yesterday, uh, the church went through a thorough cleansing, um, the whole area, a whole premise of our church, in preparation for Easter. With uh, And thank you so much for all the saints who have participated in this. It felt like a church was shedding all the accumulated dirt and grimes during this time. So we extend our gratitude to all the saints who contributed to this effort yesterday. And our ministers, as we do every year, we started cleaning a week earlier, and we have also organized and cleansed the pastors and evangelists offices um, to clean out the belongings of the former pastors and evangelists who have left our church. Uh, most of their belongings have been organized and moved to the basement storage, um, but there is one person's um, it still remains because we think that uh, he will continue to oppose a complaint about this. So we have decided to leave his um, um, belongings um, alone um, and let him come and tidy up personally. Issues regarding the female evangelists and staff members are still being processed by the local labor committee and will need to be addressed by the Central Labor Department. However, we believe that they will be resolved satisfactorily in the future. Um, today is a Resurrection Lord's Day, uh, but following last week's Palm Sunday, the breakaway group also had protests today again from 6 a.m. And, and even right now. Um, uh, Easter is not only the a most significant festival in the church, but also in Christianity. Um, some of us um, came in um, despite the disruptions uh, to early in the morning to celebrate this Resurrection Lord's Day. We believe that it's by the grace of the Father who allows us to wholly welcome the resurrection, just like the people in the Bible who went out early in the morning to welcome the resurrection of our Lord. So we sincerely thank all the saints and who came out early in the morning to prepare. Uh, currently, the breakaway group has reached a point where they are hindering our worship services. So in response, so the church has no choice but to consider and prepare various measures to address this. Among them, disciplinary procedures for participants in the illegal gatherings last summer uh, banned by the General Assembly. This disciplinary procedures have begun. And um, the sworn statement forms have been mailed out to a total of 457 people. The deadline for submitting their sworn statements is um, divided into four groups until April 2nd. Regarding the results of the first batch of 136 people, I'd like to inform you that 126 people have submitted their sworn statements and 10 people have not. However, the problem is the majority of them submitted their sworn statements um, collectively written, like written by somebody, and they're submitting the exact same statements or same contents as before. Uh, such sworn statements uh, and the ways, methods cannot be recognized as being sincere. Realizing that submitting a sincere statement and following the church's instructions is the only way to avoid church discipline, we hope that the remaining 321 individuals will provide sincere sworn statements and explanations to refrain from and also refrain from participating um, in illegal protest from now on. Also today, the third service will be communion service. It holds the same significance as our Lord's Last Supper with the disciples just before the crucifixion. This, this is when we affirm the forgiveness of our sins and experience spiritual renewal through the grace that we have received from the Passion Week. 
As mentioned last Friday, communion should be conducted with reverence. We encourage everyone to participate in communion without fail. Those who wish to participate in the communion are requested to come to the designated sanctuary. Not everybody can receive it. You have to be sincere. You have to be by do this by faith. During the communion time, um, uh, many people may be worried because of the church gate, but the church gate will be closed completely down from 2.30 until we're done with the service. And when the communion service begins, until it concludes, it will be shut down. Um, ushers who are not participating in the communion will be stationed at the gate. So I pray that all the saints of Pyongyang will feel at ease and join in the blessed covenant of the New Testament through the communion, um, and which is the final uh, part of our 2024 Easter Lord's Day. As we have observed the 40 days of Lent, the final week of Passion Week, um, I pray that this will be time of a firm resolution as a partaker of the covenant. Thank you so much.